Hello and welcome to another update of Ammonford Junction. Uh, in this update I've got a few bits and bobs to show you which I've been um, up to. Um, nothing much has happened on the layout, uh, it's been quite busy recently but I'll show you a few things I've got planned and a few changes and a few things I've been doing. Firstly as you can see I've um, added the uh, platform to the carriage sidings and the DMU sidings added on from what was about up to there I've added on all the way along here now I bought two more packs just to cover that so I'm probably going to need one more probably two to finish it off down to there uh, the other part which I've been sort of to do with um, the two sidings for the DMUs is I have now got these um, Dapple Pantograph supports, the catenary poles, and I've got them in short and long arm as you can see with the nuts. And you just drill the holes now, and they'll be in. You'll be able to see those on the next update. Um, uh, they'll be all in along. Probably the two sidings there, maybe I might start along the platform siding in the actual station where the cross country class 170 DMU is now um, as um, the next part and then I'll move on to the main two tracks along here after that. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is reorganising the warehouse area. Um, I've moved uh, the warehouse buildings around a bit and reposition the lorries. Um, I've decided it's going to be a nice of old and at least Stobart depot slash base. Um, the two warehouses are going to be Eddie Stobart, the near side one you can see. Um, this is Mountford Fabrication. And um, I'm going to change that to a Stobart logo. That's, and I'm also going to change. Uh, the sort of tarmac road to, to, to a tarmac colour um, in the warehouse and then I'm pretty much done really I've um, now weathered that building there and changed the lines to red I don't know if you can notice that from my previous video it was blue changed it to red to match this one here as well um, and that's all finished now weathered matted matte finish put on it as well as well as that one so that's all done I've decided on um, Eddie Stobart's vehicles for the outside the two warehouse buildings and then over in the parking spaces over there with the two blue trucks are one of them is a nice of old already um, no both of those will be all those parking spaces over there will be majority uh, majority would be taken up by um, uh, Knights of old trucks so that's what I've decided upon the other thing that I've changed recently is the road layout slightly, still at the main road and bus station, I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. But where there was traffic lights here at this junction, it's now just a give way junction, I've sort of started marking it out. I've got the room bollards and stuff in the middle, um, and I've sort of got like a 20 zone going in from here where it's quite restricted and aims to slow you down quite a lot. Um, I've also got a new uh, bus lane, I moved the bus stop up a little bit to make it a bit bigger. I've also got a bus lane here now for turning into, excuse the um, knocked over traffic light, um, that's to go into the bus station there and I've got the traffic lights all here now instead with a little pedestrian crossing at the other end just there um, and I, I think I quite like that idea, it's better than it was before and, and I don't think there was any need in real life if there, this was real that there would be any traffic lights here so um, <clears throat> I've I've gone for that change. I've also changed the bus stops around a bit. They're all in the same place, just different bus, different bus stops. Um, I don't know if you notice. I've, I've I had a few comments on the bus uh, station, the bus, my bus fleet uh, before, and um, I've I've been debating whether um, to do a video on dedicated just to the bus fleet. Uh, I've got um, I'm quite interested in that as well, um, as some of you probably would have realised in the last update. 
um, and um, I was let me know um, with some comments and or message me on YouTube about what you think about that. If you want me to do a bus fleet update, um, I, I I plan on doing so. Um, but yeah, let me know if you think if if you want that to happen, it'll might happen a little bit quicker, and I might get round to doing it quicker. So um, yeah, and I I'll, I'll show you some good details of what I planned out and. Um, all the fictional routes and stuff. It's, it's honestly, it's up to you if you want me to go into detail, and um, I, I'll happily do so. But um, I, I'm not going to do it unless the viewers, as you, want it or not. So um, give me a little bit of feedback on that, and I'll, I'll um, arrange accordingly. So um, yeah, give me a bit of feedback on that. Uh, another thing I'm getting up to is reorganising the back of the terraced houses here. Um, I've repositioned the old wall of this building, uh, and that is now finished. I've added a few bits of grass on the top where it's overgrowing, and the roof is all completely weathered. Uh, the sides are all weathered. It's got a mat finish to it now, and it's all complete. Um, then the other, and I've also behind that is the scrapyard. Um, I've sort of organised it for a bit. And um, I think it looks all right. I'm, I'm, I plan to extend it onto the next board when I get it. And um, uh, I've, I've made it as messy as I sort of can, really. And I add some more stuff to it as well. Probably end up putting an old intermodal container or something over there and weather it up quite badly. And you know, and so that, that sort of thing. So and I'm also sort of position some cars along the back here in the lock-up garages behind the terraced houses as well. So yeah, I'll be improving this section. Um, as I can move on to the next board as well, so I can do it all in sort of one go. So yeah, that's my plan for that. The last part of the update today is um, the Tackley Station Halt. We've built this, and um, it's not for the layout of this part of the layout that we've already got. It's going to be on the next part on the next board, so I'm planning ahead a bit. And um, it's to go on the branch line that's going to cross over as the um, the scenic break or the back scene if you like on the other end so um, it's going to be a little station on the top there on some arches so this is this is going to be the platform uh, there's a few a few um, shall we say bad things to it but overall it's a very very good product for £15 on eHatton so um, well done on the price there Helgen so um, oh, I'm not going to go through it detailed um, there's loads of things on YouTube about it, so I'm just going to put a quick view of how I feel on it, and um, we'll go from there. So um, first up is um, the shelter, probably the hardest part of the kit. But if I told you it was fairly easy, and that was the hardest part, then there you go. I would say a ten-year-old be able to make it. So um, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend the kit for that that score was um, in sort of build quality and the difficulty of the build is, is not high at all so it's good quality for um, a beginner when it comes to kits so that's good um, the next uh, the next sort of point is um, so it's not so that that score is pretty good the bad points now are that it's not very long you can see the ramp starts there and then goes along and then finishes just there and the starts the st the next ramp starts um, the problem with that is it can only just, and I mean only just fit a one a class 150 um, into there. Uh, my Arriva Trains Wells one, it can only just fit about that into that. And that's a two car, so and that is a very small, very short length two car. So a 158 um, or two car 170 probably wouldn't fit in at all. So um, it, it means I'm limited to what... Stock I can roll, uh, stock I can use on this platform. So um, I might end up having to lengthen it a little bit to allow off um, a normal sort of sized two car DMU into it. Um, uh, yeah, so that's that's the other thing. So um, the next bad thing about it, these are not major points. They're just little niggles I have with it. Um, is the fencing was pretty thick and big and very unrealistic for the back and it's where the brick wall comes up at the in the middle bit there it didn't have anything for that bit it was just that that would all that would have been there so um 
apart, but the blue fencing that came with it, as you can see there, was fine. I thought that was good. Um, it was much thicker than that, so I don't understand why they just didn't make the same style fencing for that. But there you go. Uh, in the end, I've gone. I've chosen to go with the, um, the the wooden fencing instead, which is on my other platform as well, which I had left over. So I've done that, and I'm going to add get another pack and add it along the all the way along the edge as well. Uh, the last bad point, probably the the pickiest out of all of them, is the seat there, as you can see, is glued into place there, but it's in fact actually to go in the actual shelter itself. To do that, though, there would be no leg room between the, um, the seat and the glass panel at the front, so I thought that was unrealistic and just didn't go with it. I put it outside, so... Um, that was that was that. Um, but yeah, they're the only bad points. They're not exactly major at all. Um, I'll go on quick, have a quick run for what I've added myself, which doesn't come in the kit. Obviously, all the people. Um, so all, all the people, um, and uh, the ticket machine there. Also added. Not sure if you can pick that up or not. There you go, that's a bit better. Um, the well, I wouldn't say digital, but the, the sort of more urban style clocks you see on stations. I've also added a waiting room sign there and the time of the next train with the digital TV screen um, I've also added a bike as well uh, a vending machine and a way out sign there along with the information sign on the wooden fencing um, so that's about it really, and I'm sorry I forgot the um, platform one sign, um, originally it's sort of a help point sign but I've, I thought that would be better as a platform one sign so I've added that. I'm going to add these in once I've put the names on, um, one's going to go about there and then the other one's going to go about up here, sort of region so yeah that, that's that's what i planned for it so um that's the end of this week's update um i hope you enjoyed it uh thanks for all the subscribers the comments everything uh, it's appreciated um just gonna say final quick words um give me good give me some feedback uh, on the layout in general um it's very useful and any ideas suggestions anything like that and um tell me what you think about the bus fleet um I, I did have quite a unexpected um, interest in that on the last video when I, I showed a few. So um, yeah, um, tell me if you bus fans want um, want a fleet update sort of thing and um, a bit more into my bus fleet and uh, anything like that. So um, yeah, appreciate everything you've. Uh, you uh, viewers have done. Thanks for all the subscribers. Nearly, um, I've hit over 100 now. So um, thanks for all them, uh, and I'll be back soon for another update. Thanks. Bye.